A special grand jury investigating the Loudoun County School Board issued its report. That's right. Investigators looked into how Loudoun schools handled two high school sexual assaults last year. The report claims that Loudoun administrators were looking out for their own interest rather than the best interest of the school district. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder has reaction to the report and which part stands out to him. For me, the biggest moment of this report is when the special grand jury actually faults Loudoun schools for the second attack. And it goes on to express not only how significant all of this was for our community, but really for the entire country. Now, this special grand jury was assembled by Virginia's attorney general, who, in an interview with News 4, is hinting that criminal indictments could be on the way. The outrageous school board meeting that ended with a father's arrest, student walkouts and protests, law enforcement investigations, criminal court hearings, and a special grand jury investigation. One student was convicted of two sexual assaults against different victims at two Loudoun County high schools. And tonight, Virginia's attorney general says the investigation points out that LCPS could have and should have prevented the second attack. It is a damning indictment of, of a, of people not being proactive, not being forthright, and according to the grand jury report, a superintendent that misled the general public. The 91-page report says, quote, the administrators were looking out for their own interests instead of the best interest of LCPS. Perhaps the most severe allegation the grand jury looked into was a claim LCPS administrators and the school board colluded to cover up the first sexual assault. However, the special grand jury did not find that, saying, quote, there was not a coordinated cover-up between LCPS administrators and members of the school board. Do you find any criminal wrongdoing in this? Is there any reason to expect any possible indictments? The grand jury is, remains impaneled. I will let the general public speculate, but our work is ongoing. In the fallout, Loudoun schools announced policy changes, which they say will improve transparency and disciplinary actions in the future. The special grand jury's report acknowledged those efforts and made eight of its own recommendations, including being more proactive to inform parents and re-examining its school transfer process. The one thing is transparency, accountability, and communication. More than a year later, the investigation continues into the controversy that rocked our community and sparked national debate. Loudoun County Schools issued a statement in response saying in part, quote, we are pleased that the special grand jury's extensive investigation found no evidence of criminal conduct. The statement goes on to say that the report contains several criticisms of LCPS employees and processes within the division, and they are taking those quite seriously. We are placing this on our next board agenda for immediate discussion to reflect on these recommendations and take action. Reporting in Loudoun County, Drew Wilder, News 4.